Um, well, I think search is extremely important, especially these days with companies storing more and more content. Um, also being it storing more, getting more content from around the globe as well. So it becomes even more important to have a good search, um, especially when browsing through this content is, is inefficient. So um, search is key. Um, also users are really used to good search from the likes of Google who set the bar extremely high. And people expect it to be really quick and, and really intuitive and expect to see results straight away. Um, so if your system isn't, um, doesn't live up to Google standards, then it becomes very difficult because users will just get frustrated. Um, finally, the search is probably the first feature that new users in the system will see. So if their experience is bad, um, then it's going to set uh, bad expectations at the whole tool as well. So. So as an end user, you, you probably expect the system to be lightning fast, um, so getting results straight away um, as you type. Um, also predictive search on that in, in that respect as well. So as you start typing, you get suggestions on, on what, what you could be looking for. Um, hit highlighting is also another key thing, so being able to see where your results are, especially if you're looking within documents and within PowerPoint presentations and things like that. Um, also another thing which um, users expect more to see is, is faceted search so you'll see that more on e-commerce types of sites where you have a list of filters to drill down um, on, your, on your content. So um, faceted search is basically a way of easily filtering down your results. So you see this a lot like on e-commerce websites nowadays where you can like on Amazon or eBay where you can quickly see the filters on your left hand side and drill down to exactly what you're looking for and, and you'll see those facets will get update as you're drilling down so you know exactly um, how many results there are in each facet and you, the idea is never to end up with zero results. Um, also we've got hierarchical facets um, which is just um, basically a way to filter down on, on stuff which has structure so for example, this lends itself to countries and regions um, where, you, where you know exactly what you're looking for, but it has a hierarchical structure to it. So um, we've got facets that support that as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, Brandworks not only can be, the search not only can be used through the Brandworks system, we also have an API, um, which other companies who need to integrate Brandworks um, into their own search solutions can do so. Um, so um, that's, that tends to be called federated search. So it means that if they want to search on Brandworks, assets, and also other cloud repositories as well, they can do so. So um, we've got a great base um, with our new search, which means we can produce um, some really cool features quite quickly. Um, the things that we're looking at doing next with our search are introducing more machine learning um, in capabilities. So with machine learning, we can, we can extract popular colors from um, the assets. We can extract keywords um, for, for enriching the tags. Um, we can also extract um, and understand the images to find similar images using machine learning as well. So they're, they're some of the really exciting things that we're looking at um, tackling next.